All right, guys, today's video is about what's on the back of my Jeep Gladiator right now, and it is the tank model rooftop tent made by Desert Armor. They have other models available on desertarmorshop.com. This is the tank model. I switched it up at the last minute. I was going to get the Warrior. I ended up with the tank, and I am actually thoroughly excited. From what I understand, the Warrior inside and the tank inside are actually identical. The only thing that is different is the outer shell. Tank is their first aluminum shell, which we're gonna get into, and I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons, things I like, things I don't like, what they're fixing, which is really cool. Uh, if you are interested in a rooftop tent from Desert Armor, guess what? I have some links for you below that'll give you some discounts. I will also go over why I went with this. What, what was my reasoning behind this? Why I wanted this particular tent that would go on a Jeep Gladiator and look at it. It looks like it just goes hand in hand. I get asked almost daily if that thing is a storage box. No, it is a rooftop tent. And wait until you see what I got going on with it. All in this video, here we go. A lot of you that have been following me for quite some time are really antsy to see what's actually underneath the tent. And I promise I will be showing that. Right now I've got covers over it all, but I have a seating deck as well as storage container. And then on this side is the pullout kitchen of my entire overlanding rig. I'll eventually do a full tour of that and how it all operates and how it all works and why I designed it the way that I did. But today I'm gonna focus on the tent. So right off the bat, why did I go with this company, Desert Armor? Desert Armor, uh, I reached out to a bunch of different companies and I, I did quite a bit of research. Not, not as much as I probably should have, but I did enough. I was between two vehicles at the time, a Toyota Tacoma and a Jeep Gladiator. I knew I wanted a short bed either way. Jeep Gladiator only comes in one size bed, but the Tacoma comes in two sizes, uh, and I was gonna go with the short one if I did go with a Tacoma. So I also wanted something that sat like almost like as an even, I guess, plane, plane all the way down. I didn't want a rack elevated up. Now you may see some people that have these racks right here that are elevated up high, uh, for bigger tents. So I got a half rack or like whatever you want to call it, however you want to call it. It's actually made by Fishbone. Uh, there's a bunch of rack companies out there. This one kind of went with the aesthetics of the Jeep that I wanted to go with. Lines of the Jeep are very sharp. It's not as curvy as like a Toyota Tacoma. It just all worked out the way that I wanted it to. Again, that's probably why I went with this bad boy up here. While looking for tent companies, there were only a few on the market that fit over a short bed, which this one again is only 60 inches. It's very small. A lot of people will say that the top of the line, you know, rooftop tents are alu cabs. Alu cabs are great. They just don't make a short bed version. Again, I did not want the rack above the Jeep. I wanted the Jeep top to be removable. That's why people get Jeeps. I recently took the front doors and the, uh, the front two tops off. That's why you'd get a Jeep, right? I didn't want the the rooftop tent to go over that so I could actually remove it all and have Jeep life. Already right off the bat, that narrowed my market down in regards to what tent would fit on a 60 inch bed. I think there were only like two or three out there, Desert Armor, iCamper, and I, I don't even know the other one, maybe like a CVT tent. However, I wanted a hard shell. I did not want a soft shell actual first tent that I picked out was a fiberglass shell. This was the first aluminum shell that they have ever done and that is why there are just slight tweaks that they need to make to it. But on the good news, talking to the owners, they've already decided that they are going to make those tweaks in the upcoming tents and we'll get to that in a minute. So I'm going to get up on top of the tailgate right here well, and the contours of the tent are actually pretty dramatic. In the models that they have out there right now, again, this is a tank model. They also have a warrior and I think they have a ninja. Uh, the ninja is very thin. I don't think they have a small version of it. The warrior rooftop tent is um, also great. They have it that can also fit over a uh, short bed, but I wanted the tank model. I mean, look at this thing. The Jeeps are like made like tanks, you know, tank. Boom, done. So as you can see, I actually attached a solar panel to the roof. Uh, I have a video on that, on, on me attaching the solar panel. It's a flexible solar panel made by Sunflare and it actually attaches beautifully to the tank. Funny, when I got the tent and I showed them pictures, they were like, oh my goodness, our manufacturer screwed up and they did not mean to put these 
tabs on. It actually worked out in my favor because I will probably use them as a rack system to have a second solar panel that I'll be able to have a quick release. Tents actually do not come with these tabs. I wanna say it's an eyesore, but it's definitely like interesting looking. Already talked to them and they actually want to give me a new shell for the rooftop tent. Fine, I'll take it, I'm not gonna complain. The other thing that I guess I don't like and uh, it's not a huge deal, but it is kind of like, eh. their welds are actually exposed. Now, it kind of goes with the ruggedness of the Jeep, sure. When I was talking to the owners about this at Desert Armor, they actually completely agreed with me. They did not really like the manufacturer and how they did things with the welds. They should be of welding from the inside or they should be able to just bend this aluminum. It is a pretty thick aluminum. It's a very hard shell. This was version one. Uh, they told me on their other tents, they went through a couple different versions before they got it perfect. Uh, so version one and the customer service and just who they are as a company really just um, speaks volumes to me. And that's actually probably the main reasons why I went with Desert Armor. It is a smaller company and it's family owned. And that's probably the biggest reason why I went with Desert Armor over those other companies that are out there. They treat you like your family. The exposed walls wasn't a big deal to me. The tabs, again, not a big deal to me. Um, and they also said they're fixing those for me. So let me jump down. The other thing that they all said that they were going to be fixing are the latches not the biggest fan of these latches have already addressed it to me and to believe it or not before i even brought it to their attention they called me up and they said hey jared we actually don't like the latches that are on our tents on our tank tents they've they the latches on their other tents are great but on their tank tents they said they did not like the latches they didn't like how they i guess were just latching <laughs> okay and they said that they want to fix that they said they were going to send me new ones and i actually told them no don't worry about it because i'm actually going down to desert armor to do a video with them at their facility etc blah 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 so uh, they're going to give me new latches hey right now they're fine they lock it's no big deal all right so right now i'm going to cut the gopro and i actually have my other camera uh right here and i'm going to try and get maybe get a dual angle time lapse of me opening you'll see that this portion right here actually flops open the ladder comes down and then it opens up this way and it is the queen it is a queen size bed let's see if we can do this about i don't know five minutes maybe to set up i don't know maybe maybe a little less maybe a little more you can see now my solar panel is at a severe angle so if i was setting up camp for several days i would probably want to face that south because that is where the sun is always in you know is, is always hitting right the only thing that kind of stinks about having that half rack which is what my tent is sitting on is you saw the window open on this side right with the with the the tent stays that hold that up i can't put it up on this side because they don't they don't work they, they they'll hit my roof there is a way to keep that that window open i can roll it up and there's actually ties at the top there to hold that open um but this one i can have it you know for you know rain or or uh, anything like that or shade you may have seen at the end of the time lapse that I uh, went to take a small power source that I had sent on the back tailgate of my truck I put it inside I was actually plugging in their power system or their their lighting system uh, they have lights underneath uh, the tent here and here uh, it's a nice little touch and I have lights on the inside which is really kind of nice switch them to have just these on just the inside ones on or have them both right now I have them set to having both running they're just LED strip lights and you kind of just plug them in and there's even a little pocket inside for uh, that little wire. I'm not going to try and compare this tent to other tents because um, they're not side by side each other. The material it seems like it's a great material. It seems I've actually the first night I did take this tent out 
it was in very cold temperatures. I think we hit uh, into the high teens or 20 degree Fahrenheit. The, my pole kitchen comes out here. The person I was with actually was uh, cooking breakfast and I was still in bed because I was lazy and I got to smell those eggs being cooked in the morning. It was fantastic. So it's like boom, boom right here. It was actually really nice. I'm pretty sure every tent has a window right there, but that's just, it's just nice. It did take me a minute to figure out the ladder. I released the top rings and moved my way back up. And that's how it actually, uh, this, I guess, deck portion, that's how it actually stays upright is that this is used as a, uh, as a leg, I guess. So let's go inside and I can show you a little bit more. I have like no screen on my camera, so I have no idea how the lighting is. I'm just praying this is going to work. I opened up the side window here and this is actually a, I guess, sunroof. So, if you want to stargaze at night, you can actually open that up and boom, now I've got plenty of light. Now you might be like, what the hell is this? Well, obviously they thought of that and then you just tie it off. Now you may be thinking to yourself, well, Jared, that's just a screen. What if it like starts to rain at night or what if like, uh, whatever you know something else happens right or like maybe like condensation like dew in the mornings there's actually a plastic cover above that screen and that's uh i don't know the term for this but it's it's like this portion of the tent it's this guy out here that's part of that right there so and then of course uh i was too lazy to move my strap to pull this down which i'll do a time lapse at the end showing how this all goes down obviously you guys see the lights right here and if you really wanted to you can take this screen and you can also tie it off with these guys right here to get that out of your way. So let me put this at the back corner of the tent. Boom. And I will show you guys like I'll pan this around. You guys can actually see. Hopefully I get a wide enough shot for everything. This actually goes outside. I use that for trash, but I leave it in the tent. I don't know, five, eight, five, nine on a good day. Uh, if you were to put your pillows back here, you know, obviously this is a queen size. This is plenty of room and I could easily fit two people here. Let's see here, height wise. You're using a tent for, you know, sleeping purposes. Uh, so am I going to be like sitting up in here and doing a massive amounts of work? Probably not. However, you know, if you move to the back of the tent, obviously it's a little bit higher. I don't know, do activities. <laughs> Do not let your imagination just go with this. The mattress pad is a is a pretty dense mattress pad. Uh, it feels like it's a high density, uh, maybe two inch, um, but it's you know, it's camping guys. This is what this is what you get. It stuffs into that little box that I had here a minute ago. This is pretty much just you know material or fabric, and the metal is right on the other side of that. However, what is really cool about Desert Armor, they sell. A insulator so if you do take this in cold weather climates there are these zippers right here that you can zip in an insulator to and I I have it but I actually have yet to use it because it's sort of nice outside so I didn't really need it even in that 20 degrees I did not need it I never even use that insulator not yet I probably will but not yet I will do some cold weather camping at some point so as you guys can see this is pretty cool and you guys can get a good look at it from maybe this angle all right, so now let me uh, get out and let me wrap all this up. Uh, let me take down these ties. Let me zip it back up, zip this back up, and I'm gonna take down the tent. You guys will see the tent collapse and we'll kind of go over my final thoughts. back to the tent this is pretty much out in my front yard i don't know if you guys can see that i'll zoom in on it you know family of deer that's our neighborhood deers they hang out here quite often they're really cool what's up guys oh dear the battery in the gopro camera kind of died on me just now so i'm went to my sony and i'm using that guy now i uh, just wanted to kind of wrap up you guys saw that the entire takedown uh again uh, I'm still, you know, I've only put it up and taken it down, uh, I don't know, not even a dozen times yet. Maybe eight, nine, or ten times I've put it up and taken it down. So I'm still kind of learning, you know, the whole flop over rooftop tent situation. But 
Uh, that is pretty much it in a nutshell. I will end the video with why did I go from van life to rooftop tent life? Well, honestly, uh, I was using my vans as not only my home, but I was using it as a daily driver. I wanted something more of a daily driver, a Jeep Gladiator or some sort of pickup truck. But at the same time, I wanted to enjoy the outdoors and that lifestyle, whether I go camping or to go to festivals or checking out national parks, etc., and so forth. This is the best of both worlds for me. I've said this a million and one times that you want something that caters to whatever your life is. I think van lifing and overlanding and tiny living and anything of that nature, I think we're all one big family and uh, or schooly life, anything of that nature. We can all, we're all under the same umbrella. We all work together. We all use the same components. We all use the same build and design practices. Whether you have a rooftop tent or a van or it doesn't matter. Maybe some people have rooftop tents on vans. I've seen it, so it can happen. This is the Desert Armor rooftop tent. This is my Jeep Gladiator. I am thoroughly in love with this thing. And, and maybe I'll do another van. I've talked about that many times. I don't want to say yes and I don't want to say no. You know, is a van in my future? Probably. Probably. Check out my other playlists and you will find out a whole lot more about tiny living or van living. I do a lot of tours. I also do vlogs like this. I'll do everything. Uh, I also am getting back into the stand-up comedy. With that being said, go check out my other page, Who's This Effing Guy, which is all comedy and podcast based. And it will, uh, it'll, I'll have van lifers on there. Different side of my personality on that page. I'm done. I'll see you guys later.